it's Jeremy and I'm taking an Epsom salt bath. Continuation of tonight's video. Just been resting here for about 45 minutes and I'm going to go rinse off in the shower after this video. And the question that popped into my head was, when is my YouTube channel going to blow up? So I have a lot of thoughts about this, or some thoughts about this, maybe a lot, but at least some. Um, right now I have just over 2,000 subscribers. Um, currently the trend of subscribers is slightly downward, meaning I'm down about 12 subscribers over the last 30 days. So actually the trend is my channel is getting smaller, not blowing up. And should I... Should I be concerned? Should I be concerned about this? In some sense, yes. Because if people aren't watching my channel, is there really any value to it? It certainly poses that question to me. On the other hand, am I doing what I feel purposeful about in my channel? Yes. Very much so. Um, is there, sorry, I'm getting more relaxed. No, I'm not sorry, I'm just getting more relaxed. I've just learned to be overly nice and polite. That's why I said sorry. Are there channels out there that have blown up? Yeah, there's channels with millions of subscribers. Those people are doing really well. Do I bring anything on the level that they do? Probably not. Otherwise, I would have the same number of subscribers and views. Uh, but I feel content with what I'm doing with my videos. I'm doing what I feel purposeful in. Maybe my channel will blow up on video 300. Right now, this is video 40? 39, 49 or 50. 50? Gosh. Yeah, it's either 49 or 50, but will it be video 300? Will it be video 3000? Will it be video 30,000? Video 30,000, that's like, <clears throat> um, I'm going to do some quick math in my head. If it's 30 years from now, it is <laughs> 400. Times 30 is uh, 12,000. Let's see. Wow, so 30,000 videos is kind of like, I would have to do, oops. I would have to do like three videos a day. And in 30 years when I'm 72, have 30,000, video 30,000. So maybe it's video 700, maybe it's video 8,000, maybe it's never. Um, sometimes I, I wonder like, what is there any change if I keep doing these videos or not over the next few years? Like if I just decided to stop and, and not doing this anymore. I think it builds the wrong kind of muscle, the wrong kind of mental muscle if I do that. Do I wonder if my videos matter sometimes? I, of course I wonder that. I know they matter to a few people, which I'm super grateful for. Most notably the two Debras, but there's a few other people that are commenting that I'm aware of you. I just, the two Debras are so consistent. They're at the top of my memory for my channel. Um, I'm not, I'm not doing this video to kind of, I'm not doing it for any other reason that, than to just share what I'm thinking with all of you, like to take what's circulating in my brain and to verbalize it. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing the videos. I already know that. I remember when I did the videos in 2017, I was much more energetic, hyper, 
dancing, and I've done that a little bit in some of the videos since then, but I've gravitated to a much more even-keeled, more centered, monk-like, monk samurai-like individual. I get hyper, trust me, I get hyper and I get silly, but uh, right now I'm not. <laughs> So I'm just reflecting on my channel. I'm going to call this video 49 or 50, whichever day it is. But reflecting on my channel, when will it blow up? It might not ever. I, I could do, I could put six hours a day into this channel. I could buy an amazing camera, find amazing music, get the best backdrop and scenery, write outlines and scripts for two hours a day, go out in public, interview people, do challenges travel places, go to city halls, go to Singapore, travel the world, put on a smile and share sights, speed up the footage, show me riding a bike, climbing mountains, drinking wine in a bar, riding camels, petting elephants and tigers and cheetahs, visiting all the zoos in the world, the famous parks, talk, talking to famous athletes, celebrities, Discussing philosophies, deep philosophies of life, of modes of living and operating and thinking and showing and sharing new languages I'm learning. Yo, yo, habla, yo hablo espanol un piquito. Yo quiero comprender más espanol. Yo hablo espanol un piquito, mal piquito. Uh, I could show all the best foods and eateries and museums and how I lost weight in 30 days, how I got a ripped body, how I changed my mental state, how I used positive affirmations to become a light and angel to the world and my eyes light up and how I've manifested millions of dollars and life's incredible and amazing and how I cured every ailment known to man and created wondrous technology and hooked it up to my body and cured myself of all disease. I studied every plant and herb, avail herb available on the earth and solved every problem just using plants and how I discovered the secret to love and relationships and all these things, all these things, all these things. Life is all these things. It's a, it's a continual perpetual cycle of looking forward to things and we miss out on the moment. We miss out on the moment of laying in a tub and, and being alive and breathing. We miss out on the present moment with people around us and, and then when they die, we all of a sudden sing eulogies and write fantastical poems about them when we could have done that when they were here alive with us. We miss out on the fresh air and the laugh of a child, the, the wriggling of a newborn baby, the sound of the basketball going swish through the net, the sound of the pavement as you run on it, the words in a book that someone took the time to create or multiple people took the time to create, the wonderful opportunity you have at work, no matter where you work. Yet we are all, seem to always be looking forward and complaining and striving and seeking, constantly striving and seeking. When the reality is we are always in the present moment and if we are always constantly striving and seeking, when we become a millionaire, we will continually be striving and seeking. That money will not solve that problem. Yet if we become too content, we become apathetic and complacent. And there is another problem. So how do we create a balanced scale, balanced scale of n not too much apathy, not too much striving, but to be in balance and harmony. It's like threading a needle. So yeah, those are some thoughts about where my channel is going and is my channel going to blow up? To be honest, I really don't give a damn if my channel blows up or not. I'm not saying that to be spiteful. Because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. What matters is how I feel and how I show up every day. In each precious moment. Each precious present moment of life. And that's all I have to say tonight.